Hi everyone, I'm Rue, and I'm so excited to be here with amazing friends like all of you. Ah! Friends are the best, but I've been wondering, how do I find a good friend? Do I make friends by playing games with them? Hey dude, catch. Hey. Do I make friends with people by giving them food? Hey, dude, uh, would you like a snack cake? Do I make friends when I say nice things about people? You know, I think you're a pretty chill dude. Finding a new friend can be hard, but the good thing is the Source team is back from summer vacation. Today they're gonna be searching for just the right friend to join their team, and it might not be who they expect. Let's find out what happens in The Source. Take a look at that. What is this? That's the old school newspaper. We called it The Source. Let's bring the paper back. I said we couldn't create an official paper. I didn't say we can't make one on our own. Are you saying we do a secret newspaper? This is going to be the best paper ever. I think Mr. Corbin's leaving. Hey, everybody. You found out about the job. I got an offer to be an editor at a major magazine. But this is a good job, too. This is a great job. This is a chance to do something I've always wanted to do. God. Thank you for everything you've given me. But am I making the right decision? This place looks different. It feels different. It doesn't feel right without Mr. Corbin here. I'm just not looking forward to this year. I don't know what it's gonna be like without him. Well, I mean, at least Principal Golden let us keep the paper. Yeah, but who's gonna be in charge? No clue. Hopefully not Mr. Dole. Wait, is this from you? No. Then I wonder who Excuse it's... me, is this the newsroom? Yeah. Okay, yeah, she gets like that. Hi, I'm Trixie. Trixie? You wrote the article Living Is Me. Uh, yeah. Great article. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm- Veronica Bean, star reporter! And she speaks! <sighs> I'm not really a TV star, I was just a news journalist. Are we going to get to interview you? Did Mr. Corbin set this up? No, I'm your new English teacher. Yeah, she does that a lot. I thought there were three of you. Hi, everyone. Don't worry. Everything's fine. I'm gonna see you here. Go about your business. Bowie, we have a guest. Hey! Bowie, why are you acting weirder than usual? And why are you so sweaty? I may have gotten Jesse Masters just a little mad. It's the first day! How did you anger the biggest bully in school? What can I say? I start early. You must be Bowie. Yeah. Um, who are you? And how do you know my name? I promise I didn't do anything to Mrs. Kavanaugh's dog. I'm Veronica Main. I'm your new English teacher. And the advisor for the source. It's seriously a thing. I can't believe this is actually happening. Best year ever. You have an amazing opportunity this year. This newspaper can bring students hope. Uh, hope feels pretty big. We just want to be the voice for certain students. Anytime someone feels heard or understood, you are giving them hope. Hope that someone hears them and that they don't have to be alone anymore. I'm so inspired right now. And here's where she asks us to do something. And this is where I ask you to do something. Told you. It's Veronica Main. It can't be that bad. I will do whatever she asks. Of course you will. If you want to build on what you did last year, you'll have to find new writers. What? Uh, Miss M, we kind of have a cool, you know, tight group going. If we add another member, then that'll mess up the whole system. Great, that's exactly what I want. But Miss Maine, that could be absolute chaos. 
I love what you all have created, but you are limiting what you can talk about. A new person will open things up and reach the students that you're not reaching. So you're gonna find a new student? No, you are. You want us to find them? I have faith in you. Oh, by the way, you should read that letter that's been sitting on the trunk. I think you'll like who it's from. Well, that escalated quickly. It's from Mr. Corbin. What's it say? It says how proud he is of us. And to trust the new teacher. Even though he's not here, it's like he's still here. I mean, not, not really here, but like, like kind of here. Guess it's time to find the new member of the source. Hey everyone, it's Rue again. I've been thinking about the question we asked earlier. How do I find a good friend? Having friends is great, but finding them can feel like a lot of work. So yeah, at the picnic we went like swimming and like played football and had some really good food. I kind of feel like I'm the only one talking here. <laughs> Making friends isn't always easy, but thankfully God's son Jesus showed us how to make good friends. You can read about Jesus and his friends in the New Testament, in the Bible. Jesus' friends were sometimes called the disciples. Jesus made friends in a bunch of different ways. Jesus met his friends Peter, Andrew, James, and John while they were out fishing. Fishing's so cool, yeah. Oh, hey, who's that guy? Another time, Jesus met someone named Matthew who was collecting money from people. <laughs> money. <laughs> Jesus made friends with Matthew, even though most people didn't like him. I don't like that, Matthew. He takes all my money. Jesus had a lot of friends, but some people wanted to be around Jesus only to get something from him. They were nice to Jesus when they wanted him to give them food or do something for them, but when Jesus didn't do what they wanted, they left. Wow. So what made Peter, Matthew, and the other disciples good friends? Well, they were faithful to Jesus. Even when it was tough, they stayed with him. That's how they became Jesus' closest friends. It took some work, but Jesus knew finding good friends was totally worth the effort. That's what I want us to remember today. A good friend is worth searching for. None of our friends are gonna be perfect. Friendship means more than just being nice to each other. It means sticking by each other, listening to each other, forgiving, and saying you're sorry. So, I have to be a good friend to make good friends. Exactly. And it takes time. You can become friends with someone quickly, but spending time to build great friendships is so worth it in the end. I wonder how the search is going for the Source team to find their new team member. Let's check in with the team again to find out. Wow, we never would have had this many submissions last year. We must really be making an impact. I think everyone just wants to do this because of Miss Maine. It's a celebrity thing. I must say, these submissions are smashing. But we please take this seriously. Radio, old chum. Uh, Gabby, check this out. Looks like Samantha submitted to the source. Of course she did. She just wants to be Miss Maine's favorite. At least read it. Okay. That looks like a lot of papers. How's the search coming? Awful. There's a ton of talent, but no heart. Interesting observation, Trixie. How do you know that? The students who submitted just want to do this because they want to work with you, not because they actually care about helping people. I like how seriously you're taking this. Luckily, I may have just what we're looking for. A student submitted a really excellent essay in my English class. Miss Maine, there's no name on this paper. I know that. I don't want you to judge the work based on who wrote it. What? I would never do that! Then why is Samantha Stone's paper in the trash? Well, because it wasn't written very good. Uh-huh. Read the essay. <clears throat> Masking the real me. Oh, sounds like a paper you would have written, Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's pretty legit. It actually is. Like, I understand everything they're talking about. The pressure to be great, hiding who you really are. I feel like any of us could have written this. Did we write it? 
No, Bowie. This is the student, Miss Main. This should be the next voice for the paper. Wonderful. I will let them know. Okay, now will you tell us who it is? No way would be the fun in that. What? Please, Miss Main. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Have you guys noticed how she's just able to get us to do what she wants? You know, she doesn't have to order us to do it. I think she literally has superpowers. You need to stop pacing. It's what I do. I'm sorry, I'm nervous too. Who will be the new person? Oh no, 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 it's Jesse. He found my safe place. Bowman is out of here. Hold on, Bowman. Don't touch him, Jesse. Listen. This is our place, no. and we don't like bullies in here, so let him go. Okay. Um. Sorry, Bowie. I didn't mean to do that. Look, I'm not here to mess with you. If you're not here to mess with Bowie, then why are you here? Because Miss Mann told me to meet her in the newsroom. You're the new member of the source. Clearly, nothing gets past you. Yeah, but I thought you guys worked in a computer lab. This looks like my grandpa's shed. Does this place even have Wi-Fi? Actually, they just installed hold on, it. Hold on. You. Jesse Masters want to write for the source? Yeah. I thought what you made last year was pretty cool and I want to be a part of it. Do you even know how to write? Gabby, she's right, Trixie. You made me write all your papers last year. I'm just saying. I did make you write my papers last year, but that's because I had better things to do. Uh, like what? Win football games. <sighs> this arm is a legend. So why does this arm want to be here? Miss Main made me write an essay on why I shouldn't stuff new students into lockers. She kind of caught me scaring the freshmen. I was going to get someone to write it for me, but once I got started, it was kind of cool, you know? Writing is fun. Duh. That's why we do it all the time. But won't hanging out with the news nerds mess up your cool cred? I'm not worried about that. It's Miss Main. She's a different kind of teacher. She can like get in your mind and stuff. Yeah, and she literally has superpowers. Uh, I don't think you're using that word in the right way. Miss Main doesn't literally have superpowers. She's not like flying around the school. Good point. Well, he knows grammar. Hey, I'm not just a dumb sports guy. I read and stuff. I love Lord of the Rings. The books, way better than the movies. Oh, I see you've met the new member of the source. Yes, but Miss May- Are you going to tell me how excited you are to accept people that are different than you? Because we wouldn't want the newspaper to become a clique. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. Great! Well, source team, I think this is the start of a beautiful year. Heads up, Bowie. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be good. everyone! Today was so much fun. We learned that a good friend is worth searching for. We heard how Jesus searched for the right people to be his friends. And saw the Source team get an unexpected new member. My challenge for you this week is... Give someone the chance to be your friend. Uh, how do I do that? Find a way to include someone else in what you're doing. Invite them to sit by you at lunch. Or play a game. You could even just ask someone new their name or a question like, what their favorite food is? Hmm, mine is pizza. You don't have to make a best friend right away. That takes time, but you can give someone new a chance. And who knows, you might discover a great friendship. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I'll see you guys next week.